A year ago today, we made a video on the Field World 759, a really decent budget seven inch monitor, which we thought was a great introductory bit of kit. But now we found something around the same price that blows the 759 out of the water. This is the Pergia A7S. It has a really stupid name, but for the price, it does pack one hell of a punch. Welcome to the film. Make your video look like it was tailor made for the silver screen with Rocket Stock's film grain overlay pack Emulsion. Link in the description or head straight over to rocketstock.com. Now, before you ask, yes, the Pergia monitor does work with any camera using HDMI, not just the Sony A7S like its daft name might have you believe. Today, we are going head to head to see just how much better it is compared to our current budget 7 inch monitor, the Field World 759. Let's get started. The points for build quality go to Pergia. Both of these monitors have a budget look and feel to them. They both have a plastic body, but both are pretty solid in the twist test. There is almost no flex to them. The Pergia is a bit sleeker looking once you remove the protective gel cover because of its lack of face buttons. Instead, they are sunken on top. It also has a jog wheel on the side, which is a lot faster and easier to navigate the menus than using the buttons on the feel world. The Pergia comes with a thread on its top as well as its bottom in case you want to mount it in a hanging position. IO. Pergia wins again. Both of these monitors use HDMI in, have a 3.5mm headphone jack and a DC 12 volt socket for plug in power. The Feel World includes a socket for an OSD controller, an AV socket and a USB port for firmware upgrades, none of which I have any use for. The Pergia trumps these features with an HDMI out, which means you can daisy chain this monitor to another. This is useful if you're using an additional monitor off of the camera for pulling focus or for a director's viewing screen. The screen, another point goes to Pergia. At 1200p, you get a full HD monitor when shooting at 16 by nine, which really does make a difference when checking your focus. The feel world is only 800p, and at first I didn't think this would make much of a difference. But look at the difference when trying to focus on some text in the background. The color accuracy isn't great for both of these monitors, but the Pergia is sharper, brighter, has a better viewing angle and a better contrast ratio. Software features. Again, a point to Pergia, and this is where the difference is staggering. They both do come with a load of similar features, some of the more useful ones being center markers and image flip. They both have focus assist, but I will say now the focus assist on the feel world isn't very good. Instead of identifying your focus field with a colored line, it just makes everything super sharp, which doesn't help at all. The additional features that come with the Pergia that I think are invaluable are zebras for exposure checking, false color for exposure and lighting ratios. It has a histogram, on-screen audio levels, and the safety markers and letterbox overlays are customizable too, so you can choose the thickness and color of the lines and the darkness of the letterbox overlay. The Pergia even has a battery gauge, so you know when you're about to lose power. When I started this review, I thought I was going to be tallying every single feature and dividing it by the price of each product. But considering Pergia has won in every category for just an extra $20, it's safe to say that it's the winner. If you're looking at getting your first camera monitor or want to pick up something with a few more features, grab yourself a Pergia. The ones I saw advertised didn't come with any batteries. So if you do order one, get a bunch of NPF 750s. I've linked the Pergia and the batteries in the description. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We do reviews like this and a load of other filmmaking videos to help you get closer to achieving the film look. Nothing beats the traditional film grain aesthetic. So if you wanna give your video a true cinema look, check out these incredible grain overlays by Rocket Stock. Their stunning pack Emulsion was shot using real film stock, including Eastman Double X and Kodak Vision 3. Head over to rocketstock.com to see for yourself. We're always looking to improve our videos, so if you have any comments, let us know what you think. I've been Richard Scott, thank you for watching the film look, and remember to achieve it one shot at a time.